top three cars you'd want to start the ultimate collection? Everyone would say the 250 GTO, and they wouldn't be wrong for many reasons, but it's a boring answer. Um, I've, I've got a um, Ford GT40, an original one, a Mark One skinny tires, I think, um, would have to be in there. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm very fortunate to have found years ago a, a, a Ferrari 275 GTB short nose in a um, in, in in the middle of Del Delaware uh, in a yes. terrible state and in a uh, stunning pine green color, correct? It was, yeah, um, it is. Um, and I brought it home and restored it. And I and I think it's just, you know, it's probably just the most beautiful car. It, for me, it encapsulates everything great about 1960s automotive design. Um, it's a V12. It's a Ferrari. It's green with orange leather. Um, but I'm trying to think of cars that I don't have, which which would form. Uh, oh, it's a hard question, isn't it? What are your top three? <laughs> I would go 911, 911, 911, and I would I would. Well, uh... come on, you can't. Uh, you, you'd, you'd, you'd have no. to broaden your horizons. Yeah, of, of course. No, I just I like you, such an enormous Porsche fan, and and um, I actually first noticed you on on Instagram in many posts that you had about Porsche and, and your passion for the brand was, it has been very obvious through the years. Um, yes. So I was quite, quite happy to see that. What's your view on electric cars? What do you think about those? Where, where will they fit into the, the future collection um, or collector sphere? And what will it mean to current internal combustion engine vehicles? Um, that's a good question. Um, I mean, obviously, we're all, they're coming, uh, and combustion is, is a lot ending. Of them. Um, I think there's over a thousand new startups in China at the moment, um, all working on electric cars. So the market's, you know, there's, there's going to be plenty to choose from. Um, and look, it has to happen. It, it, it has to happen. As daily infrastructure, everything needs to be, um, everything needs to head in that direction, I think. Um, and of course, it, as I think as the energy density of batteries improves um, and range gets better and the weight of the cars comes down, um, interesting things will happen. Um, but um, I, I'm of a different generation and I need, you know, I like a gear shift and I like that, you know, I, I like the, the experience of uh, the engine sound. Um, the smell of your clothes when you get out of the vehicle. Yeah. Um, so it's a hard thing to, it's a hard thing to really think about. Um, what does it mean for the, well, I mean, well, the internal combustion engine is coming to an end and in terms of, you know, cars, I think it's going to have to go on a little bit longer for things like buses and, uh, and trucks and um, construction vehicles, perhaps. Um, 